Hi guys, today we are going to learn about a basic but important request in JD Orchestrator which is a data request. So let's move to what do you actually mean by a data request. As already mentioned, a data request is one of the many service request options available in our Orchestrator Studio. This particular service request helps you to fetch data from any table or business view. If you wish to take a basic example, we can say that if we wish to obtain the credit limit of a particular address number from any address table, I can create a data request that can facilitate the same. However, an important thing to note here is that it can only read or fetch the data. It cannot perform any other table operations such as insert or updating any values in a table. That is, it can only fetch the data but it cannot insert or update any data into the table. Now let us see the types of data requests. The data request can be broadly classified into three types, which are table data requests, business view data requests, and lastly, the aggregate data requests. The table data request, as the name suggests, is when we fetch the data from a particular table, whereas business view data requests are the ones where the data is being fetched from a business view. An interesting fact about the business view data request is that you can create it even if you do not know the business view. If you know any application that has the data that you require, then you do not need to know the business view. You can directly click on an option that is the get view from application and get the business view required. So this is a convenient option that we have. The last type is the aggregate data request. Again, as the name suggests, if you wish to aggregate or summarize any field, such as sum or count of a field, then we can create this particular type of data request. This can be considered like the pivot table option in the Excel. Now, if we see, a data request is formed of basically three components as shown here. First is the data source, that is the table or the view. The second is the filter criteria, that is the condition on which we wish to filter our data. This basically depicts the WHERE clause of any query. And finally, the output. So basically, these three are the components of a data request. Now, when you log in into an orchestrator studio, you will see this option as shown on the screen. We need to select this to proceed with our request creation. So, without further ado, let's watch the demo. Log in into the orchestrator studio. Next, click on the data request option. As soon as we click here, this window will appear now. Now, as you can see, on the left hand side, already existing data requests will appear if any, and along with it, there's a new button on the top of it. If we wish to edit any existing request, then we select it and edit the same. Now here, in this case, we just wish to create a new one. So we'll click on new. This is the window that opens up on clicking. We'll write down the name of the data request. Let's say dr underscore fetch alpha name. Sorry, fetch alpha name. Then I'll select the product code as 59. Let's write down the description as fetch alpha name. Now, in the table or view name, we have to mention the name of the table or the business view from where we need to fetch the data. Since we need to get the address number detail, we are selecting the table F0101. Now we click on load. Now as you saw, as soon as we clicked on the load button, all the available columns in the respective table or view are now available on the left side of the window. Now, as I had mentioned earlier, if we do not know the name of the view, but we know the name of the application from where we can get the data, then we just need to click on this option, get view from form. So as soon as we click on this, the application and form name can be entered into this form that pops up and as soon as we select the same, the corresponding view columns will be populated on the left hand side. Now, if we see the columns present here, we can see there are two symbols here. 
This one is the filter button. This will add our where clause columns. Basically, when we write down an SQL query, where, what do we write? Select star from table name, where, and then the conditions. So this is the filter button that does the same action. Now, as soon as we click on it, the corresponding column will get added on the right hand side under the filter criteria column. Now here as you can see the column is added under the description column. Then we have operators here. If we click on the drop down we can see there are other options such as equal to, not equal to, greater than, in between. Based on our requirement we can select any of these. Then in values, we have the variable name defined with dollar and curly brackets. This can also be hard coded. In that case, we just need to remove this variable and hard code the required value. We can also add multiple fields into the filter criteria. Also, we can add the same field multiple times. For example, if there is a date column and if we wish to define the date range as a filter criteria, so I can add my field two times and then use greater than condition in one and less than condition in one to define my date range. Now, this option that you see here stands for return. That means the value that you want to fetch. As soon as we click on this option, the corresponding field will be added to the right side under the return fields and variable name section. Now again, these names can be changed or renamed based on your requirement or convenience. Now, we can see that there's an aggregation toggle here but then this is grayed out the catch here is that if we wish to do any aggregation then we need to enable this aggregation toggle while creating the data request that is while entering the name and description we need to enable this toggle as well only then the aggregation section will be enabled else it will be grayed out also in that case this aggregation button in front of the columns will not be grayed out and will be enabled then we have other sections such as order by which have the same functionality as in case of SQL statement. For example, if I wish to sort my output data in some particular order based on a particular column, then I can mention it in this order by. Once all the required things are defined, click on the save button. If we see here, there is an option stack available. If we wish to limit the number of rows in our output, that is in case of large data, then we can mention the maximum number of rows over here. So it will limit the output rows accordingly. There is another option that is the query name. If we already have an existing query on the same table or view, let's say we have a query where the address number created after 2020 will only be populated. So if we select that query here, that will act as an additional filter in addition to our already existing filter. Now the data request has been created based on our requirement. But this data request cannot be run individually. To run this, you need an orchestration. If we go into the login page, click on orchestration, again click on new, then enter the name and the description that you want for the orchestration. Let's say ORCH underscore fetch ALPH product code 59 description fetch alpha name. Now as we can see, by default, there is a start option and an end option on the screen. Also there is a plus sign in between. Now we need to click on the plus sign in order to add any service request. Now here, since we need a data request, after clicking on the plus sign, we will select data request. As soon as we click on data's request, we will select the data request from our list. So we can see the data request that we had created. We can select that particular data request and that will be added to my orchestration. Now here in the start button there are three options. Run, orchestration, inputs and values and schedules. 
if we click on inputs and values nothing will be shown currently so for this we need to do the next step click on data request select the transformation option here you can see there is an add inputs to orchestration option once this is clicked the input fields of the data request get added to the orchestration input now under available values same variable name will appear select that so basically in this step we are mapping the orchestration input to the service request input we can also define any default value here for example in case of blank or no input we can pass a default value that needs to be considered now if we again go to start and then click on inputs and variables then we will be able to see the input fields that we added the value type here can be changed based on the data type since our address number is numeric data type i'll select numeric we can also select if it is a required or optional field then we have options for system values there are audit fields and another tab for values from steps there are a lot of options here available for exploring after all these required steps are done click on save now go to the start button and click on run orchestration now as you can see on the left side we can see the input section and on the right side the output section enter the input value and click on run on the right hand side you will see the json format where the output has come the output is displayed in the rowset section of json also if we scroll up we can see the json format of the input as well so this is how you can get the basic data fetch now in the n option we can see an option called orchestration outputs on selecting this you can see the outputs of the service request that have been added to the orchestration in our case there was only one output so we can just see one if you have multiple columns in the outputs and if you wish to display only specific columns out of those then we can just do that using the select toggle available at the end if we select all all the columns will be displayed and if we select a particular column only that particular column will be displayed so basically the final output can be controlled from here so that was all about data requests i hope it was clear enough bye